Loren and Larry, do you have any final thoughts? Well, we have to look at all of this rationally. And, and in looking at it rationally, the first thing that we have to do is we have to get it turned off. Now, in order to get it turned off, as far as I can tell, the first thing that has to get turned off is this political Hegelian, where the world spends its time participating in useless wars for purposes of economic turmoil. The more churn there is, the more profit. It's a pretty sick process whereby the labor of humanity winds up being harnessed to, to extract certain things that are considered to be of real value and to hoard those things away for someone else. And it, it's happening on a world stage, and it's time for that to be turned off long enough so that we can actually take some of the technologies that we, mankind, have developed for these individuals who I'm not going to bother categorizing at this time, but we need to be in control of that technology for a bit because we do need to get this thing stopped and we do need to get this environment cleaned back up again. We'd have to get this planet back onto an even keel. And that gets back to the size of the energy regimes involved and therefore the size of the energy regimes necessary in order to do the mitigation. And these are large. These are are things that we paid for with our labor that are being misutilized and misapplied against us now. And we need to go ahead and we need to be the people who are actually handling the controls on these things long enough to fix our planet. We need to take the profit out of war. It's not just war. It is a hierarchy that has operated for centuries of special interests that have rebranded themselves, renamed themselves century after century. The Crusades and Crusaders and the culture they set up, including banking, economics, uh, health care, emergency response, the um, the Crusades were a very interesting and a very innovative and a very amazing time. But along with that came uh, Freemasonry, secrecy, special interests, special profits, and very extreme wealth for special groups, and I mean the Crusaders. And um, a legacy that has been rebranded, renamed over time. And the Jesuits in the early 1500s were funded by Francis Borgia. The Borgias are very famous and very infamous for poisoning, for land grabs, for many, many, many very dirty, very, very destructive uh, actions and practices like the um, Medicis. These are special interest groups. And the Jesuits uh, were a, um, a special interest group started in Spain by Ignatius Loyola. That wasn't his real name, who was a military man. He had a battlefield wound and could not um, continue his career as a military, well, basically from a family of knights. And uh, he was born in a castle in Spain, in Navarre. And Francis Borgia funded the formation of the Jesuits. When you really look at it, and Napoleon defines it, and many others have defined it as a purely military organization. That's what the Knights were about. That's what the Crusades were about. They were not about Christianity. They were about uh, reviving the Silk Road and capturing huge revenue for the Europeans. These for are the corporate name changes and the relocations of headquarters. And today, the tradition of the Crusades the legacy of the Jesuits, 
has been rebranded and renamed. It's the United Nations. It's the World Bank. It's the International Monetary. It's NATO. It's um, corporations. It's all of the same players we see devouring, cannibalizing country after country like a pack of rabid dogs. And the United States is allied with Britain, that horrible tradition, as the Anglo-American Permanent War Crimes Racketeering Syndicate. But at the top of it are the Jesuits. Every country that has had Catholicism or that is Catholic the entire Habsburg Empire, the United States, the state of California, Japan, China. There is all a very, very underground legacy of the Jesuits. They are in control, and they've finally taken their mask off with the new Pope, Francis, or uh, Broglia, whatever his name is, from Argentina. And... What we're seeing now is just the very beginning of the complete destruction of this planet. And it's the Jesuits who engineered Fukushima, HARP, the oil companies. They own the Seven Sisters. They own all the oil companies. If you take and a look at our State Department and our Congress, yes, those they, things. 10% of Congress are Jesuit trained. State Department, go north. It's a bigger number. Yeah, um, well, it's even bigger in Congress. They they haven't listed all of them, mm -hmm. but um, but this is who is destroying the planet. And there is a legacy of Jesuits in the Ukraine, in Eastern Europe, because Russia is Eastern Orthodox, and it's when the Catholic Church and the Eastern Orthodox Church separated and went their different ways. The uh, Catholics went, stayed in Rome and, and Europe, and the Eastern Orthodox went from Constantinople to Russia. The, the Soviet Union and the Russians have never allowed Jesuits in Russia, and if they ever do, that is the end of Russia. So it's the Jesuits, and they've been chased out of 90 countries in the 1800s. They assassinated or tried to assassinate five U.S. presidents between 1924 and, uh, no, between about 19, 1840 and 1865. They assassinated Lincoln. They assassinated the first Harrison, President William Harrison. They um, assassinated Zachary Taylor. They uh, tried to assassinate, what was his name? Andrew Jackson was one. And Andrew McKinley Jackson. Was the other, I believe. No, it wasn't McKinley. Uh, it was uh, starts with a B. Uh, um, Buchanan. Right. And when they tried to assassinate, I think it was Buchanan. Yes, Buchanan. They tried to assassinate the Secretary of State, uh, Grant. You, oh, this was uh, when they tried just to, uh, when they assassinated Lincoln. They had four other members of the um, U.S. politics, of the government. They had planned assassinations of them, too. They are completely obsessed, and they love to poison. What is Fukushima? It's a global poison. What is GMO? Well, it was designed by Monsanto. That's a Jesuit organization. It came out of a laboratory that makes nuclear triggers. That was, uh, well, Monsanto was, um, they started the GMO, and it was funded by a Sephardic Jewish family married to a Catholic man who was a Knight of Malta. And uh, she was from a Spanish family. The Jesuit who started the Jesuits or the Spaniard who started the Jesuits was a Sephardic Jew. And almost all of the Jesuit leadership, uh, they were Sephardic Jews. That is a tradition of 
conduct of values of ethics of whatever or lack of ethics of the original Sephardic Jews who were sheep herders in North Africa. They came to the Middle East and they went with the Middle Easterners to invade Spain as the Moors, the Moorish people. And they had a tradition of poisoning. So all of the assassinations except for Lincoln were all done with um, poison. They poisoned Bonaparte. Um, the person they attacked more than anyone else was Queen Elizabeth I because she was a Protestant and they hate Christians and they hate Protestants. And she survived poisoning. She was not poisoned because she had an extraordinarily good group of people around her protecting her and had very good security. But the two armadas that were sent from Spain to destroy England and to kill her were sent by the Jesuits. It bankrupted Spain. It didn't bankrupt the Jesuits. They use other people's money. And every country they go into, they have destroyed. They have taken all of the wealth, stripped it from that country, completely destroyed the environment, and left the country in complete ashes. Just ask Germany, France, the United States. We're on the chopping block right now. You go to Europe and you study that history and you go and visit those countries and you talk to them about the Jesuits and they hate them. They're in charge of NATO. They are running the British uh, monarchy. They have to total control of the United States now. And they're using us to destroy the world, and they're using the world to destroy us. So that is the problem. It's the Jesuits. Well, taking a lesson from Queen Elizabeth I, we all need to surround ourselves with yes. people that we trust. Yes. People that we can lean on, people that yes. we look out for, and they will look out for us. And we have to be very selective about those that we align with that's right. when it comes to topics like this because our movements have been heavily infiltrated yes by jesuit sponsored jesuit tra trained traitors they're traitors to their own countries to their own families and to themselves it's much more broadly distributed at this point what's happened is that via the educational institutions certain forms, cer certain agencies, certain things that are considered to be institutions, FBI being one of them, but not one of the recent ones. These institutions are the people who are actually now setting the agendas and who are affecting the uh, activities, who are acting on our behalf. People like Victoria Nuland, for instance, in the State Department. These people are speaking for me? Oh, really? I don't think so. There are two books to read. One is The Secret History of the Jesuits. And this is by Edmund Paris. He <clears throat> was a Frenchman. He wrote this book, and it's country by country in Europe what the Jesuits did and how they destroyed. The second book is The Secret Terrorists. This is by Hugh, uh, Bill Hughes. And this is the planned destruction of the United States by the Jesuits. And they started planning it in 1776. They had three secret congresses between 1915 1815 and 1825. And the secret treaty of Verona came out of those conferences. Vienna, Verona, Chiari. 